All right, what's going on, y'all? It's 808 Genius. Today, I'm going to be showing you a quick trick on how you can gain full control over your 808s. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So um, I have this 808 loaded up right now and a simple 808 pattern. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play it for you guys so that you can hear how it sounds now. And then we're going to do a little bit of editing to it um, so that we can control the sound a little bit more. So let me go ahead and play it for you guys so that you can hear it um, before we edit it. So as you can see, um, the release is really long on them. So once it hits once, it goes for a little while, um, as you can see. Um, so what we're going to be able to do to combat that, to be able to actually um, choose how long the 808 uh, stays for, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come, first of all, um, we're going to right click on the channel itself and then we're going to click cut itself and then we're going to also normalize the 808 if you haven't already make sure the time stretching is off and then you're going to come to the instruments tab you're going to turn the attack all the way down turn the hold all the way up the decay all the way down the sustain all the way down and the release all the way down. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow you to literally control how long the 808 plays, um, and it'll be done through the notes. So as you can see, it no longer has a tail on it, um, like it used to. It's just simply, Especially if you don't want the 808 playing in certain points um, and, and you just want the 808 to uh, sound like it, it's being controlled. So yeah guys, that was a quick tip on how you can control your 808s. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the 808 Genius YouTube channel uh, for more videos like this, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace.